it's been about a year since I got my Matthews VXR and I was looking for a nice case to put it in. So one of the things that I've been looking at is the SKB cases or the Pelican cases. And those are all top notch, high quality cases. But the only downside to that is that they cost five to almost a thousand dollars. And so for me, I'm kind of on a budget, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it would take just as much for the price of the bow as it would for the case. Let's deep dive into this and see a little bit more about the Seahorse cases. So to show you guys right here, uh, it's got the hard durable latches on here. And then if you look closely, it has a locking ability right there to where this won't open accidentally. And then on top of the latches locking, you can see here that it's got the metal locks right here as well. So you can put a lock on here if you want to, if it's going through the airport, or even if you're keeping it at home. And there's four latches on here and they all lock so that none of them come undone accidentally. So they all come unlock and then you're good to go. If we take a look at the handle here, this handle closes so that it has an even profile and then it pops back open so that you can get an easy access to it. And then there's also one back here. And so then if we take a look at the bottom of here, you can see that it's got hard durable wheels on here. And these wheels are pretty cool because they look like they're military grade. I have a couple bags just like this and they've lasted 10 plus years. And they're pretty solid, pretty durable. They don't move. I can see these lasting for a long time. And so you can see that there's foam on the top and foam on the bottom. So you can buy these without the foam or there is an option where you can get it with the foam. And you can see here that I got my VXR in here. It fits perfectly and then there's still room on the bottom to where you can put your release, your quiver, your rangefinder in here if you want to. So I'm going to go here real quick and just show you how I cut my VXR into the seahorse case. And here's what we have. This is why you want to use a colored marker. So then you can see the outline. Black doesn't really show up on the gray too well, but you can see the outline of here. So then all we're going to do is just pull out the pieces of the inside. And I'll show you that real quick. You guys know there is a couple things that I wanted that I could have done better on here one is that I could have taken out the whole uh, piece right here and flipped it over to the reverse side and then traced it backwards and it wouldn't have left any kind of line left on the on the top foam so going back that's what I would have done differently but I still like the way that it turned out I used a lighter color marker on the gray foam so that I could see my gut out. So if you guys cut out some kind of foam for your other kind of case a different way, let me know. I'm curious how you guys do it on yours. I've already done one trip with this case already and I can tell you that my bow still shoots fine. Um, everything in the case is great. Nothing moved and I had stuff stacked on top of it. So this thing is uh, waterproof up to 30 minutes it's dust proof you really can't beat this compared to the pelican and skb cases again that's what i'm comparing this to at a fraction of the cost you're saving yourself money and you're saving yourself the, the quality so your quality is still top notch and you really can't beat the seahorse case all right guys so there you have it that's my review of this seahorse case and I know that I'm all about it. I think that this is a great product. I think that the customer service at Seahorse has been outstanding. I've been talking with them and they've given me every question answered that I could ask and they're really quick on their responses. So um, I don't think you can go wrong from that aspect. Customer service is a big deal to me and uh, they knocked it out of the park. And as far as the durability with this, I can see this lasting for a really long time. Um, the plastic on this is not cheap by any means, 
And again, this is coming in at a fraction of the cost of the major competitors. So do yourself a favor, go out there and look at the seahorse cases. Uh, for bow hunters, I don't think that you can beat this. This is outstanding. So let me know what you guys think of this case in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next video.